Hi, welcome to the first screencast here on BlockSolid. This screencast is the first of a series of screencasts which I entitled Do It With WordPress. In this screencast we're going to learn how to use WordPress installation securely and efficiently so that it helps us grow but it doesn't cause us any problems in the process. For the purpose of this screencast I've purchased a separate domain name, blocksolid.net. This is where we're going to do all the learning, this is where, where, where everything is going to happen. I also had to choose a separate hosting plan. I decided to have a new hosting plan so that we see how things happen from scratch. Uh, I had to choose from among many hosting plans out there on the web. Uh, I chose DreamHost and here's the reason why. First of all, DreamHost is really cheap. Uh, it costs about 9 bucks a month. If you use a promo code BLOCKSOLID, uh, you'll get half of this off for the first year. And, uh, also, DreamHost is very easy to use. That's that's one big advantage. Uh, it has a very clear admin panel, which you see here. Uh, a good thing about DreamHost is that everything can be done from the admin panel. You don't have to log in through Shell. You don't need to know server-side languages. Well, at least everything that you need to run a successful WordPress installation can be done from the admin panel. Uh, DreamHost is easy, the admin panel is very friendly, uh, you get loads of help here, you get a support wiki where, where there is even more help and more articles, tutorials and instructions how to do things. Uh, also they have a fairly good support, they usually respond within a couple of hours. DreamHost is very good for for beginners, it's, 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 it's easy for beginners and it can it should be sufficient for majority of people for even sometimes many years. This is a shared hosting plan that I use here, which is absolutely enough uh, if, if, if you're just starting out. One thing I want to say here before, before we start is that if you are with someone else already, if you use a different host hosting provider, you don't have to move over to DreamHost to be able to do what we're doing here majority of the things or even in many cases everything that we're going to be doing can be done on other hosting plans through different admin panels uh, the only thing is you're going to have to find your way around but knowing the principle what, when we're going to be learning here we're going to show you the principle of what 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 you're aiming to do and majority of these things should be available to you on a different hosting plan okay so the first thing we're gonna do, as as you see, as you can see, there's 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 nothing on the domain at the moment. The first thing we're gonna do, and this is only the only thing we're gonna do in this screen, because we're gonna install WordPress. Now I'm not gonna show you how to install a WordPress installation through FTP. This is and it's fairly well documented uh, on the on on the web. So I'm just gonna show you how to install WordPress using the DreamHost one-click install. One thing I want to talk about before we start is where should we install our WordPress installation on the server. Now a server works kind of like a computer with folders on it and each domain points into a particular folder on the server. Now let's see where our domain points now. This is a generic setting if you add a domain to DreamHost it points a domain It points a domain to a folder which it creates for it, which is called the same way the domain name is called. See here, the domain is pointed to the blocksolid.net uh, folder. Uh, it's not bad, but what I'd suggest is to go one level lower and add another folder within this folder. I'm going to add a folder which is called blocksolid underscore one. Okay, one thing which I like about DreamHost also is that you can choose how do you want your, your domain to display. Do you want it to have www before it or do you want to remove it? I'm going to choose to remove it. So when I save now, from now on, even if you type in www.blocksolid.net, you're going to be redirected to, to blocksolid.net without the w's. Okay, so I've changed the 
the folder the domain points to and I'm just going to change settings and that's it domain points to a different folder that's that's it the only thing we have to do now is we have to install the WordPress installation of toblocksolid.net it's very easy with WordPress you just go to goodies and one click installs who'd guess okay if you, if you come in here you see that you have an easy mode and advanced mode uh, these are two different modes in which you can install WordPress I'd recommend going with the advanced mode the advanced mode uh, installs an installation which is exactly the same as if you installed it yourself the easy mode is more like WordPress.com where you don't have access to your files and you don't have access to your database uh, WordPress is the first here from among many applications that you can that you can install so you just you just click WordPress here you scroll lower and here you have the option of, of directing your WordPress installation into a folder on the domain so many people for example type in blog here or something else and uh, then their blog is located under blogsolid.net slash blog or WordPress or whatever so I'm just gonna leave my WordPress installation under, under blogsolid.net now I'm gonna create my database manually the reason for that is that if I leave it to WordPress it might give it a strange name which will then be difficult for me to understand uh, I'm gonna choose my database name blog solid blog one okay now I'm gonna leave the host name as as DreamHost suggests uh, and I'm gonna have to choose a username and I'm gonna choose block solid but I'd suggest you choose something more difficult which is which is less obvious now we just add a password and that's it you click install and we're done block solid is installed successfully now we will have to wait about 10 minutes for the installation to actually appear on the server and actually start working uh, so I'll see you in 10 minutes okay welcome back 10 minutes have elapsed and now let's see if our installation is successful I'm just gonna quickly refresh the page and there it is the blog is installed now the only thing left to do is to add the title I'm gonna call mine blogsolid.net and enter an email address And there it is. The installation is finished. Now we can log into the admin panel. Now one last thing you should immediately do is the thing that WordPress prompt prompts you for by itself. You should go to the profile page and change your password to one which is not generic. Uh, of course you should add aim for a strong password. And that's it. The blog is installed. The, the only thing to do now is to post posts, pages, uh, wait for comments, install your plugins, insert your themes and use your blog successfully.